working with an array of objects in C++ is very similar to working with an object and arrays. In fact, because of that, it's going to be very easy to make that transition if you're already used to working with objects and arrays. In our first example, we have an array of circles. We call it circles one, just for simplicity's sake, and it has an element count of 10. Now these are 10 empty elements at this point. I also have circles two. I can define it as an array and specify it equals and define some default values. Both of these ways will work for accessing an array. Now, to access the array elements once they've been created, I'm going to use my brackets and my indexing just like I would with any other array. For int i equals 0, i less than 3 because our circles 2 has 3 elements in it. I'm going to say C out. Specify index. And then specify the radius. If I, when I go and run this, you can see from the output, I have 1, 3, and 5, which is the default values that I specified for my circles to array. Now, let's see what happens if I use the same code, but for circles 1. So I have circles 1. So I've defined this. I'm going to modify this just quickly. So I specify all 10 elements instead of just the 3. If I go and run this, You'll notice that it gives me 10 elements with a value of 1. You might say, well, why is that? That's because my default value for my NOR constructor is to set the radius equal to 1. I can see this if I go into my circle.cpp file. If I don't pass in an element, the radius equals 1. However, I can call set radius. So I'm just going to duplicate this. Let's say circles one, square bracket notation for i from our index. We're going to say set radius, and we're just going to give it a random value. We're going to say modulus 150. That way we work with a, get a random sampling. If I go and run this now, now that I get my array, I can perform some actions like setting its radius and therefore changing what its area is going to be. I can access any modifier I want to as long as I use that index notation that I would with a normal array. Then a dot, that lets me know what specific object I'm working with, and then I can call its method. Because all of my elements in my array are unique objects, they all have their own properties, like radius in this example, and they all have their own methods. That way I can call a specific method like a get radius or a set radius, and I'm working with that specific element. So an array of objects is just like an array of integers or doubles. It's collectively grouped together. However, they are individual items that can each be accessed and modified as you need to throughout your program.